dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the world. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the people. Thank you for my family. Jesus name, uh, Jesus name, amen. Joy, 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 We'll be singing 749, 749. <clears throat> they battle along to the Lord, and we'll be singing one and two verses. <clears throat> In heavenly armor, we'll enter the land. The battle belongs to the Lord. No weapon that's fashioned against us will stand. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power and strength to the Lord. And the power of darkness comes in. The battle belongs to the Lord. He lifts up the stand in the power of His word. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power, and strength to the Lord. And we sing glory, honor, power, and Bibles to Matthew chapter 6 verse 30 through 34. Now if God so close the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is, thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore do not, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. We'll be singing song numbers 167, 167, Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna. 
Hosanna in the highest Lord, we lift your name, we lift your name with hearts Hearts full of praise, hearts full of praise, so be Be exalted, O oh Lord my God Hosanna in the highest Glory, glory, glory to the King of Kings Glory, glory, glory to the King of Kings Lord, we lift up your name, lift your name with heart Heart full of praise, full of praise, so be the exalted, O oh Lord, my God, Hosanna in the highest. Will you open your Bibles to 2 Timothy 4, verses 1 through 2? I, change your, I charge you in your presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, read. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience in teaching. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for all you've given us. Please help all those that couldn't make it here today. Make it here on Wednesday. And please help all those that don't know you or to know you and thank you for letting us have a good meal and please help us to have a good afternoon and in Jesus name amen Have you or someone you've known ever asked or wondered, is God real? Well, last week I, I had the chance to go to Colorado, and the mountains and the rivers and the green and the different types of animals there all reminded me of God's power. I will be reading Romans 1, 20. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. We may not have the mountains or the rivers that they have in Colorado, but we do have the rains and the storms that remind us that remind us of his power here. So next time you find yourself doubting God's power, look for look for examples of it in his creation. Please pray with me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all the wonderful blessings you have given us. I pray that you will watch over my friends and family as they go on to their day-to-day -day lives tomorrow. And I thank you for the soldiers that have died fighting for us. And I pray that you will forgive us when we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please turn your song book to pay or song to song number nine hundred and nine nine oh nine. We'll be singing the first and third verses. There's a fountain free just for you and me. Let us haste, oh, hey, to its green. Tis the fount of love from the source of love, and he bids us all freely drink. Will you come to the fountain free? Will you come?
comforted for you and me, thirsty soul, hear the welcome call, tis the fountain open for all. As a rock that cut and no soul is left, and they not is pure water shares. Tis for you and me, and its stream I see. Let us taste it joyfully there. Will you come to the fountain tree? Will you come? Tis for you and me, thirsty soul. Hear the welcome call. Tis the fountain open for all. you have a Bible with you, to please turn to uh, Mark 16, 15. And he said to them, Go to, into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Uh, Jesus talking here is saying that it is uh, command, his commandment to go and proclaim the gospel uh, and all those who believe uh, must be baptized uh, in order to be saved and go to heaven. Uh, doesn't matter who you are, you could be the best person in the world, the richest man, you could be the best NFL player, which I know some of us here would love to be that. and. But if you're not baptized, you will not go to heaven. Uh, uh, now could you turn to Acts uh, 2, uh, beginning in verse 36. Let all the house of Israel therefore know the certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you have crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and, and said to Peter to the rest, and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Christ, Jesus Christ, for forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children, and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls himself. And with many other words, he bore witness and continued to continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourself from this crooked generation. So those who, were, who received his word were baptized and, and were added that day about 3,000 souls. Peter is saying here, Jesus, the one you have, all have crucified, God has made him Lord in Christ. Hearing this, the Jews were heartbroken, and uh, they asked Peter and the, his apostles, uh, what do we do? And Peter answers them, uh, repent, be baptized. And about 3,000 souls that day were saved. Like Christians, we have the responsibility, wait, scratch that, we have the obligation to proclaim the gospel to all the world so all people may be saved and that person must be baptized to, in order to be saved. You play with me, please. Dear Lord, thank you for this day that you've given us. Thank you for uh, letting us have a meal together and have fellowship. And please uh, help those people who chose not to be here. And please uh, help us be more like you. Please help those people in the hospital to get well soon. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day you've given us. Thank you for all the wonderful blessings you've given us. Thank you for um, sending your son to die on the cross. Please help all the people that weren't able to make it here today. Please help to bring them back safely. Please help all the people in the hospital to get better. In Jesus' name, amen. Please turn your phone books to page number 587. 587. Sing and be happy. If the skies above you are gray, you are feeling so blue. If your cares and burdens seem gray, all the whole day through. There's a silver lining that shines in the heavenly land. Look by faith and see it, my friend. Trust in his promises, grand. Sing and be happy, bless the Lord. To the goal, yes. Who leads you, he will keep your soul. Let all be faithful. Look to him and pray. Lift your voice and praise him and song. Sing and be happy today. I'll be reading from Luke 9, verses 23 through 26. Then he said to them all, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and is himself destroyed or lost? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words of him, the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory, in the Father's, and of his holy angels. I'll be reading Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14 through 16. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but was all in all, all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help him in time of need. Turn with me to Deuteronomy 4, starting with verse 35. To you it was shown that you might know that the Lord himself is God. There is none other besides him. Out of heaven he let you hear his voice, that he might instruct you. On earth he showed you his great fire, and you heard the words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers, therefore he chose their descendants after them. And he brought you out of Egypt with his presence, with his mighty power. Driving out from before you nations greater and mightier than you, to bring you in, to give you their land as an inheritance, as it is this day. Therefore, know this day, and consider it in your heart, that the Lord himself is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath. There is no other. You shall therefore keep his statutes and his commandments, which I command you today, that it may go well with you and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days in the land which the Lord your God is giving you for all time. I will be reading from Romans chapter 12 verses 3 through 8. For I say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think of him not to think of himself highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function, 
So we, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them in prophecy, let us prophecy in proportion to our faith or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Uh, I'll be reading 1 John chapter 2, verse 8 through 11. Again, a new, again, a new co commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away, and true light is already shining. He who says he is in light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. He who loves his brother abides in light, and is there, and there is no cause for him stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. If you'd like to mark in your songbooks, the invitation song will be number 694. 694. Song before the lesson will be number 745, 745. We'll sing the first, third, and fourth verse. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up, and He will lift you up. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me, that saved a wretch like me. When we've been there 10,000 years, when we've been there 10,000 years, bright shining as the sun, bright shining as the sun. I don't know how Colton and Jose make this look so easy. I started getting nervous about this yesterday. <clears throat> Today we live in a me society, a society that is all about yourself, that what can I do to better myself, what can I do to give me the advantage over everyone else. It's, it's not always easy to stay humble and uh, and put others in front of yourself. But still, God instructs us that we need to stay humble. Um, in 1 Peter 5, 5-6, it says, Likewise, you younger submit yourselves unto the elder, yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the, resisteth the proud, 
and gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. James 4.10 also says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. James 4.6 But he, give, he gives more grace, wherefore he says, God resists resist the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. There's a few biblical examples of humility. If you will, uh, turn with me to Philippians 2, 5 through 8. Here is an example of where Christ humbles himself. It says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became unbe- obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. That's, that's pretty humble. In uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 13 through 15, if you would turn here, please. <clears throat> Paul refuses to boast. It says, Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you, but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I had baptized in my own name. Now Paul, he could have easily been, been flattered by everyone saying, like, I've been baptized by a group from Paul, or, you know. And instead, he rebukes them for doing that. And there's... There's a couple of things we can do to show our humility. One, uh, please turn with me to Hebrews 6, verse 10. We can serve one another. It says, for God, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which, he, which you have showed toward his name, and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. We can also love all people. Ephesians 5 through 2, I mean, 5, chapter 5, verse 2, says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. Also, we can work for others. James 1, verse 25, says, But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. The last one, encourage others. If you would, turn with me to Colossians 2, 18 through 19. It says, Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increaseth, increaseth with the increase of God. If we, if we can do these things, we can remain humble, and it would be easier for us to stay humble. Thank you.
If you will be getting your Bibles and turn to Matthew chapter 25, we'll be using that in a minute. I think one of the coolest feelings is after you're baptized, you, uh, you look for ways to serve and you seek ways. And I think as we grow older, sometimes we lose that feeling. In Matthew chapter 25, uh, you see the parable of the talents. And in this, the master gave one of the servants five talents. He gave one, um, gave one two talents, and another one he only gave one. And starting in verse 19, we see what they did with those talents. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also who had the two talents came forward, saying, Master, you delivered me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you had scattered no seed. See, I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours, but his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I have scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and my, at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has, who has will be more given, and he will also have an abundance. I think using God's ability wisely is some things we awfully forsaken, and productively, and the more important part of being a servant. Faithfulness will be rewarded with the more opportunities to serve God as we live throughout our lives. If you will be turning to Mark chapter 9, kind of go along with Brody's lessons with humility. Uh, you kind of see that they uh, need to kind of stay hidden, and they don't serve in a way where you don't feel like you need to be noticed. Starting verse 33 of Mark chapter 9, And they came to Capernaum. When he was in the house, he asked them, What were you discussing on the way? But they kept silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and he said to them, If anyone would be first, he must be last of all and servant of all. As uh, us seniors were kind of graduating, and Corey told us the other day that me and Brody, or he asked us if we would do this, me and Brody were going to kind of try to make the parents cry. But we decided not to do that after the graduation banquet Thursday. But uh, as you younger kids grow up, you will have more responsibilities and be finding more ways to lead. And as we go out into the world and graduate and find other church homes and visit here, we'll find other ways to better be leaders and to fill roles. If you will be turning with me to Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, to give his life as a ransom for many. And here we see the ultimate servant of all. If this evening, if any of you have a need or looking for ways to serve in any way, why don't you come as we stand and as we sing. closing prayer. Actually, we'll have one more song. Um, our closing song will be number 1014. I figured I'd do one that all the kids know so they could sing along. 1014. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, 
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus, take this heart of mine. Make it pure and holy thine. On the cross you died for me. I will try to live for thee. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Help me, please. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this new week you've given us and this new day. We thank you for all the people who could be here today, all the Christians. And we thank you for the food. We thank you for the young men in the congregation, the youth. And we pray that we all grow up and be the examples we need to be, be examples for the younger ones, all the kids that are graduating. Help us to take you and your word out into the world and bring as many people to you as we can. We thank you for letting us be here, and we pray that we be here at the next point in time. Thank you so much for everything you've given us, and most of all, your son. In his name we pray, amen.